Ladies and gentlemen, I am Brock Beard, and this is your starting lineup for Crown Royal's presentation of the Heath Calhoun 400 at Richmond. On the pole, going for his second straight win in this event, give it to the wild thing, Kyle Busch, and who the man that's starting next to him? Rudaman. That's right, David Rudaman. Row two with a combined five Richmond victories. The 40 dominate of Jimmy Johnson and the Wonder Boy Jeff Gordon start side by side for the first time since their controversial incident last week at Talladega. Row three, the Army Medicine car of the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman, and Brad, the big Keslowski's Dodge sponsor. Dodge. Another pair of key players in last week's thrilling Talladega race start side by side in row four. Happy Kevin Harvick, a Richmond winner in 2006 and last week's winner at Talladega, and Daytona 500 champion Jamie McMurray from Joplin, Missouri. Row five, the Red Bulldozer of Brian Vickers and the Warrior from Emporia, 2008 winner Clint Boyer. Row six, with his best start of the season, it's front row Joe Nimichek and the need for Scott Speed. Row seven, another surprise in qualifying. Casey Mears will start his first race for Tommy Baldwin in the 14th spot. Next to Mears in 15th is the Mark V of 1990 winner Mark Martin. Dangerous AJ Allmendinger is on the inside of row number eight next to the Blue Deuce of 2005 fall winner Kurt Busch. Row nine, the mayor, Jeff Burton, really coming on strong this first part of the season, and the Rushville Rocket three-time winner, Tony Stewart. Row 10, the Destroyer, Juan Pablo Montoya, and the Tasmanian Devil, Marcus Ambrose. Row 11, Mighty Matt Kenseth in car 17, and the Budweiser number nine of Casey Kane carries Daryl Waltrip's championship paint job from 1985. Row 12, Sliced Bread himself, Joey Logano, and the Master of Disguise, Elliot Sadler. Row 13, Fan Favorite, Dale Earnhardt Jr., another three-time winner, and his former teammate, the New Jersey Fury, Martin Truex Jr. Row 14, Sideways, Sam Hornis Jr., sixth and eighth in his last two Richmond starts, and it's green. It's mean, it's the Scott's Easy Seed Machine, the 99 of Concrete, Carl Edwards. Row 15, Sleek and Swift, Regan Smith had a great race at Talladega until the engine let go, and hometown hero Denny, Hammer and Hamlin, has got a long way to go to score his third Richmond victory. Row 16, Bobby Labonte has high point betting on his TRG Motorsports Chevrolet. That's the first time it's been on the 71 since Dave Marcus back in the 90s. Starting 32nd is the bright yellow fella, Paul Menard, in his fabulous fluorescent Ford. Row 17, the Biffmeister, Greg Biffle, and Reed Sorensen in his second start of the season for Braun Racing. Row 18, the amazing David Reagan, a season best sixth at Talladega, and Mike Bliss finished 10th in that race for James Finch. Row 19, Robbie Gordon, two points to the good in the top 35 battle, and full throttle Travis Quapple is just 10 other points ahead of Robbie. Back to row 20, David Stremme for Latitude 43, and David Gilliland just narrowly made the show during knockout qualifying. Row 21, take a look, cause Terry Cook is in his first race since Phoenix, and the Ford Tortoise of rookie Kevin Conway. And in row 22, all by himself, Tony, have you ever seen the reins? Makes his first start of the season. It's also owner Larry Gunselman's first start since last October at Martinsville. Three cars missed the show this week, and two of them were the Texas Twister, Michael McDowell, and the Buckeye Bullet, Dave Blaney. This marks the first time that both Prism Motorsports cars have failed to make a race this season. Mad Max Pappas also missed the show when he nearly grazed the turn one wall during his first qualifying lap. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your field for the Crown Royal Heath Calhoun 400 at Richmond.